Hey and welcome back to this new Pizza Duray tutorial. Today we want to create an epic harbor scene. We will use geometry nodes to create a container wall. We will create some materials. We will add some fog and some lights. Let's jump right in. Here we are on a fresh blender scene. Today we want to use this cube, but first we need to import our first mesh. Let's go to import and FBX. And we want to use uh, the 005 uh, from Free Polygon. Let's import that. Everything is selected now. We can go ahead and press M to create a new collection, which is container underscore A. And let's go here now to material preview. So we can see that this is actually red here now. So let's go here to shade editor. Let's select here the first mesh and Let's change this here to something more white and then a little bit down to something grayish here. Now we want to duplicate this container. So let's uh, make a right click on this one and select a duplicate collection. And now let's hide the first one and we want to uh, rename this here to B. Okay, let's open this here again. And we want to add here a new material on it. First, let's rename this one here to M for material uh, container A because that's the material from the container A. And now we want to duplicate this and change this to B. Now let's turn uh, this one to black, but the other stuff has uh, the old material. So what we can do now is go here into the preferences and search here for material enable here the material utilities and now when we're pressing shift and q we can go to search let's press down here in this section and we can see that we are having here all the materials let's press ok now we can select all the other stuff which uh, needs to change here the material now let's select this one here and hold shift and then we can go ahead and press shift and q assign material and we want to use now the material container B. Let's bring in a new instance of both containers. Instance A and instance B. And now we want to bring this one here into new collection, which is container all. And we need this one here now into the geometry nodes. So let's go and select this cube here. We want to go to geometry nodes, add a new one, GN con container and bring the container all collection here inside we need a instance uh, on points and we need a grid let's bring all together here now the collection goes into the instance the mesh here into the points and the instance to the geometry let's go now to material preview now and the size to 62.2 by 30 Point four. Now we have to increase here the vertices to 8 by 13. Let's search here for uh, transform geometry and put this here in between. And now let's rotate this here to 90 degrees. That is looking better here. Now we want to make use here of both containers. So let's uh, separate here the children now. And we want to select here pick instance. Now we are having here on each point one container. But we need a little bit more randomness. So let's search here for a random node. Now let's leave it on float. But I want to put this now into the instance index. And change the max value now to minus three that looks a little bit better and we need one more random value uh, as well so let's duplicate this one and i want to change this now to vector and we need another node which is a set position node put this here in between and pipe now the vector random value here into the offset and we want to change now uh, the values of the min we change the max to zero and let's go here with 0.5 by 0.9 okay i know all the stuff will collapse but <laughs> we need the holes here for the lights later that's everything here with geometry nodes let's jump back to layout mode we want to put this now in the right spot to container left and let's go here now with 10 by 10 by 15 and i want to rotate this here in the z value to minus 90 
Let's duplicate this by pressing Shift and D and let's offset this here to minus 10. But that looks a little bit uh, mirrored. So what we can do now is easily rotate this to 90 degrees in the Z. Let's create now our floor. Let's press Shift and A. And we want to change the X and Y to 100. And then we can go ahead here now with some materials. So let's add a new material and let's rename this to floor. We want to use here now the Node Wrangler plugin. If you don't have this enabled, go to preferences and search for Wrangler. Enable this one. Now let's add here a principle setup. You have to select this green thing here, this green <laughs> node, and go to add principle setup. We want to use the asphalt 10 from Ambient CG. Let's select the color. We need the normal GL and we need the roughness. Principle texture setup now is a quite big texture. So let's change this a little bit down to 10 by 10 in the scale here. Yeah, that looks a little bit repetitive, but later when we are set up the camera, it is not very important. Maybe let's go ahead here with some roughness. But first I want to change here now the view to render. So we don't want to use um, EV today. We want to use cycles. Let's change this to GPU compute and let's go to rendered. Yeah, as we can see, it's a little bit reflective, but I want to have a little bit more wet ground. So let's search here for ramp. Bring this into the roughness to principal and let's change this black slider a little bit more here to the right so that looks a little bit more reflective here now which is cool yeah now we can go ahead with some fog and some lights but first i want to go here now in the scene settings and change the color to black now let's bring in new cube maybe let's rename this here first to floor let's go to cube that's the fog now i want to change this fog cube now to 120 in each dimension so this one is really big let's create a new material we don't need the principal bsdf let's search for a volumetric scatter bring this one into the volume and i want to change the density now to 0.1 and the anisotropy to 0.3 let's select the camera and press a zero on the numpad so we can see what we're doing Let's go with 3.5 by minus 2.94 by 0.4 and the rotation 119 by 0 by 26.4. Now we can go here into the camera settings, change this to panoramic and bring the lens to 15. So our render view fits here to viewport display and change the passport to, to one i want to bring in here a new viewer with this view cap random now we can select here our scene light let's select this one bring this into a new comp underscore lights and this will be our back light let's change this one here to an area light I want to change the color as well to here something blue purplish i want to use this hex code here now yeah let's bring this to a new position so let's go with 0 50 by 18 let's rotate this to minus 90 by 90 by 0 and we want to increase now the power to 1 million so we need another three zeros one two and three that's looking better and now let's change the rectangle size to 40 by one yeah and i think now it's a short break <laughs> to bring in here a character so let's go here now into the asset browser and i want to bring in here our rust so let's go here bring this one in press alt and g because i want to have this on the zero and now we can go ahead with some lights okay we need another light so let's go with shift a new light point light i want to change this now to something orange so let's go with this hex code and let's increase the power to 5000 radius is okay but we need another position so we want to put the lights now between um, these holes of our containers so let's set the first one 
to minus 12 by 1.2 by 4. As we can see, that fits here now in this hole. Now let's duplicate this one. Press escape. Shift D and escape. Select the next one and let's go here with 10.5 by 9.7 by 8. You can see this one is here now on the right side. And let's duplicate this one again the last time. And we want to go with minus 10.4 by 19.5 by 13.5. And as we can see, um, the light is going out here. But for me, in this scene, uh, this one looks not really cool and it's a li little bit slow. And uh, yeah, let's disable for this now the light tree. So let's go here into the settings to lights and disable now the light tree. And I think the scene is now much faster. If you don't use 3.5, everything is cool. But if you are in 3.5, you have to disable this one here now. Okay, um, that's it here for the lights. And the last thing is another FBX, which we need. So let's go to import FBX. We want to use now the free polygon 038. Let's select this one and press import. And now we can see that this one is already in the scene. Let's select this and go to object, set origin, geometry to origin. Now it's a little bit down here. Let's press Alt and Z so we can see a little bit more. Yeah, let's bring this a little bit up here by going into the edit mode by pressing tab. And I want to go with three on the numpad. Now we have to select everything by pressing A if your points are not selected. And now let's press G and Z to bring this up here now. So it will barely hit the ground here. Which is, I think, this one here, maybe something like this. And now we have to go to seven and bring this here into uh, the center by pressing G and Y. And yeah, maybe do something like this. So one, each of these things here are in the box three here now. So something like this should be okay. And let's press tab again. And we want to set this now to 27 by 30 and rotate this uh, 90 degrees in the Z. And that looks already good, I think. We can see that we are having here a little bit uh, reflective light here on the edge, which looks not really cool. So um, let's select here our backlight. Go to the light settings here in this one or in the object properties and go to visibility and we can disable here now the glossy so the light will not reflect here in the floor. If you want to render this out, I changed my maximum samples to 256. And the performance here, the tile size to 256 as well without the noise because I like sometimes this grainy stuff here but you can use the denoise if you want to. That was this tutorial and if you like my stuff, check out and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, check out my Gumroad or Blender Market page. See you there and bye.